Hey guys, the Fire Brothers here. It's just me. My brother couldn't be here today, as always, because he failed to understand that the needs of the many outweighed the needs of the few. So yeah, basically he got cosmic rusted away. R.I.P. I guess. Anyways, these are the jokes. Hopefully you enjoy that. So before we begin with this video, I wanna say that I have been slowing down with my uploads and that's because college has been, well, awful. <laughs> Had tons of work to do and I still have a lot of work to do, so... For now on, I'm gonna slow down with my uploads and I'm only gonna upload when a video is ready. I'm not gonna rush it out, so... That's like my new standard for now. Also, if you haven't noticed, I recently uploaded a video talking about how strong Sentinel Prime is. If you haven't watched that video already, highly recommend it. It's really interesting, even if you don't like Sentinel Prime, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy that one. So I'm gonna put a link in the description down below and in the comments down below. Continuing my trend of talking of stuff that's not related to the movies, which you guys have been very supportive about that. The Ironhide video got a lot of support and the Shockwave video is also getting a lot of support and I'm super happy about that. So from now on, I'm gonna start talking a bit more about stuff that's not related to the movies. And I think we should like start in a big way by talking about Broadside. The amazingly large transformer who transforms into a giant all about transport. So I guess I should explain first. In the book, The Art of Transformers Follow Cybertron, we have plenty of concept art. Like there were a few concept arts that did make it into the game in there and some that didn't make it in there. Broadside is one of those. Now, I'm not really sure if the transport that we see in Transformers Follow Cybertron, the ones that the Combaticons kind of blew up, is Broadside over here. For all we know, Broadside could transform into a transport and the transport could, you know, just be a lifeless mechanical mobile machine instead of an actual transformer. There is a high likely possibility that the transport that we see, the Autobots use to transport the Energon could be Broadside. But at the same time, we don't really have a lot of evidence pointing to that being the case. But I guess I should mention the evidence. So. If you guys don't know, back in G1, Broadside was actually a triple changer. He had a terrestrial vehicle mode, a flying vehicle mode, and then his rod mode. Now coincidentally, this transport also has the same features. It has a ground mode, it has a flying mode, and it has a robot mode. Well, if the concept that would have become true, then it would have had a robot mode. But you guys are probably wondering, so if the vehicle was Broadside, why didn't he transform? Well, there's actually a couple of reasonable explanations for that. Number one is basically what Onslaught said. The same reason why the Autobots kind of stuck to just, you know, mobilizing themselves on the ground instead of just, you know, shifting to their aerial vehicle mode to transport the Energon. It takes a lot of Energon to power up the vehicle so it can fly. So can you imagine how much Energon would it take to make the vehicle transform into a giant robot? If you remember, Metroplex himself had enough Energon to fuel the arc. So Titan Transformers such as Metroplex, Broadside, Omega Supreme, and Trepticon do need a lot of power, a lot of Energon. And coincidentally, the Autobots are running scarce on Energon by the time of Fall of Cybertron. So it is possible that they opted to, you know, leave Broadside just in vehicle mode because it's less Energon straining on them. It's basically like that fat kid in school. Like, let's say there's a floating outside and you're forced to camp in school, but school only has limited supplies. And there's that one kid who's like huge and needs to eat more than the rest. And because of him, everyone else starves to death. That was probably a horrible example, but you get what I'm trying to say. It's very logical that he will just be forced to remain his vehicle mode and his flying mode because of the lack of energy on the Autobots had to go around. Remember that by the time of Fall of Cybertron, the Autobots are just trying to get energy on to leave the planet. They're not even trying to like find new energy on, destroy the Decepticons or anything. All they care about is powering the Ark. Considering the amount of energy on Broadside will require, I can see the Autobots just telling Broadside to, hey listen, you're just gonna have to remain in vehicle modes so we can collect enough energy on to power the Ark. That's probably the case, and honestly, I don't really mind that explanation. I think it fits with the setting and the plot of the Autobots, you know, being scarce on energy on and not having enough to spare. I think it makes a lot of sense, and it explains why he never transformed in the game. Now, is he dead? Um... Well, the Combaticons did blew up his engines, they did make him crash, and even if he's not dead, he's at the mercy of the Decepticons by now. And considering that the Decepticons are also starving for Energon, and that 
Cybertronians can take the Energon away from Titan Transformers. Yeah, it's not looking very good for Broadside, so. I'm gonna have to say that Broadside is most likely killed in action, or if the Combatic Cons didn't kill him, then more likely than not, the Decepticons stripped the Energon away from him and used whatever was left to power themselves up and power up the Nemesis. Which, I'll be honest, is probably the most likely scenario going on here. It's actually kind of a shame we never saw this guy. I mean, look at him. He looks so cool. He's also incredibly tall. I'm not entirely sure if he would have been as big as Metroplex. I'm gonna say he probably would have been somewhere around that margin. Because, you know, he's a huge vehicle. I can easily see that being almost Metroplex size. Almost. I can understand why they cut this guy. Because it doesn't make sense for the Decepticons to, you know, um try to raid the Energon Transport and for the other ones to just have another, you know, Titan on their side. Like, one Titan is overpowered enough. Metroplex single-handedly turned the tide of the battle in the favor of the Autobots. So having two will be just way too much. Like, the Autobots by that point, they're not the underdogs, they're just the overlords. So yeah, I can see where the cut broadside. Honestly, I would have loved to see this guy transform in the game. Imagine how cool would that be, but... At the same time, it doesn't fit the narrative that Fall Cybertron was going for, so ultimately he had to be cut. So, yeah. Don't worry, Broadside. I'll keep your memory alive. Me and the other two people that made videos about you. Wow, not a lot of people know about this guy. Before we go, guys, shout out goes to our patrons: Morris Prime, I Pulse Fate, Mario Gordon, and Predator King Hunter Plays. That's a bit of a long name. And because they have all donated to my Patreon, they're entitled to a special shout out from me. Thank you guys for donating, it's much appreciated. Make sure to go check out their channels, links in the description down below and in the comments down below. They need all the help they can get. And if you guys want to shout out yourselves, all you gotta do is donate to my Patreon. If you donate to my Patreon, you can get a shout out to your channel, you can request your own videos, you can collab with me in some of my videos if you choose to, and stuff like that. There's plenty of more rewards and I'm thinking of adding a few more rewards as time goes on, so yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Remember, every time you donate, Squeaker doesn't have to pay for the rent, so you're essentially donating to charity, or at least donating to a good cause. So yeah, there's that too, but keep in mind we don't force anyone. This is entirely optional and your support is much appreciated. Thanks guys! But anyways guys, that's it for this video. Tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below, and tell me your thoughts on Broadside. Do you like him? Do you not like him? Do you think we should have seen him transform in the game? Or do you think that if that would have happened, it would, it would have ruined the narrative of the Autobots being, you know, the underdogs and lacking on energy? Because if he would appear in the game, it kind of makes Metroplex's sacrifice kind of redundant. Broadside and Metroplex can just donate half of the Energon, and if they both donate half, then they should both still have enough to function and there's like no heroic sacrifice at the end and the Autobots can just leave. And if that was also the case, that would mean that the Autobots could have left Cybertron right after the Decepticons stopped attacking them. Like they could just say, Broadside, Metroplex, get here, can you guys donate half of your Energon? And they just leave them behind because they're still gonna be alive and they can just always just go into stasis. It's not like in Fall of Cybertron where Metroplex just ran out of Energon and died. So, yeah, it was probably for the best that he got cut, if you want my really honest opinion, it was probably for the best. I know there's gonna be those people saying, oh no, I wanted to see him, and yeah, that's understandable. He does have a pretty bad as a sign, but still, <laughs> it really would have thrown some really huge plot holes into the story, if you ask me. So, yeah guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to go check out the Sentinel Prime video if you haven't already. And from now on, I'm going to be talking about some more Fall of Cybertron and Prime continuity characters. I'm not going to be, you know, doing that exclusively. I'm still going to talk about the movies, but I want to do something different every once in a while. So yeah, keep supporting these videos and I'll be sure to give you more content like this. So yeah, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, guys.